All right, Stick, you said to share. What exactly do you mean by that? Bachelor sent his convict test subjects to the infected house. I found the chest. Thank you, pal. Did you know what that house... Did you know that house was infected, by the way? Polly, you're kidding, right? This is no laughing matter. Just ask your friends. Right. You know what? Go ahead and keep all the weapons to yourself. I'll find myself some more. A wise choice. That is the outcome. All right. I was like, I want to. I do want to keep all this stuff. So it'd be nice if we, if I don't have to give it to you, or any of it to you. The quest is already said to be complete at that point anyway. So it seems like maybe not. Can I'm sorry. Sticky was gonna find out on their own that the place was infected. And then be like, you know what? I'm not going to follow up on that whole I want the stuff to part. That's just not going to happen. A wise choice, as Barak said. Because uh, it's very infected. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for beginning the infinite treadmill I'll have to deal with for the rest of the game. If it wasn't for that house, probably could have waited till tomorrow. Or later. You thought you could hide from me amongst the nearly identical bushes? Seriously, Jesus Christ, it's identical. Mine. <laughs> Can't hide from me. Cue somebody editing together a super montage of like the 50 that have successfully hidden from me because my God, they were dicks when they set that up. All the medication in the world or a handful of watches. Y'all like watches, huh? All right, three watches for three Meridorms and a beta tablet. That's- I have eight more watches. Uh, I'm not even that bothered by the fact that I'm- Technically, he got a deal of one out of that. Cause... God damn. I seem to be accumulating watches at an alarming rate, and they seem to be very, very valuable. I think it's partly because I just keep not finding the blonde kids to trade to. Uh, oh look, a watch. <laughs> As if to punctuate the statement. I don't find them very often, I don't think, but damn. I can turn that into a lot of good stuff. Better keep my eyes peeled. I feel a little vindicated. For the Bachelor campaign, I, even though I wasn't stealing, uh, I wasn't breaking into people's houses or anything like that, I still kept lockpicks around, because I'm like, any day now, it might come up where I need a lockpick to continue. Because, you know, it's an item in the game, and that's how items work in games. And it never happened a single time. <laughs> I never needed a lockpick. I've beaten- I've, I'm like- I'm like 90 episodes into this game and I just used a lockpick for the first time. Like, ooh, how does this work? Ooh. Which is a bizarre thing to say. Oh, there's like a pool. It's not just a pond. Like, it's got a straight up- It's paved. I was hoping to find a plant back here. You know, when I want, not these ones. Uh... But hey, here we are in the in the Harrowspex campaign, and now I've encountered a, a, a mandatory lockpicking moment. Not main story, but you know, still a quest that can only be solved by lockpicking. A little bit of validation. Should I just give up? Wow, giving up on day four? Uh, please don't. I think I need to, you to break me out of jail soon. <laughs> the yesterday's endeavor turned out to be a complete disaster. I couldn't extract the microbial culture from the dead cells. Not to worry, though. There's still hope. Do you have a plan? Master Reuben, who doesn't trust me and is concealing something important, has an unusual source of infected tissue. He's using it to conduct his first experiments. It is not a vaccine, of course, but it's something. I think it might be of interest to you as well. You have my attention. Seems like Reuben is working with a mysterious carrier of the disease that has weakened microbial culture in their blood. I doubt we uh, could make a vaccine from it. Your reagents seem to deal with it all too mercilessly. I wonder what had weakened the infection, though. Who's the carrier? Beats me. Reuben is keeping tantalizingly mum about the whole process. You're closer to him than I am, though. Perhaps he'd be willing to share with you the information that he is concealing from me. Reuben hates me. He absolutely doesn't. I don't know if the, I don't think that's true, uh, Bachelor. Last time we talked, I described your feats in detail and proved that his suspicions were completely baseless. You're his hero now, 
and he's deeply ashamed of his tantrum. Where do I find him? That is something I cannot tell you. I gave my word. What? That makes no sense. Reuben's trust is very precious to me, and it's also very fragile. If he finds out that it was I who told you where the lair is, a lair that's been actively sought after by numerous armed robbers, I, might I must add, I will lose a very important ally. No way. You're free to look for Reuben yourself. And where do I start? I was introduced to him by a lovely lady called Lara Ravel. She is very kind. She is a very kind, gentle creature. I suppose it would be very hard to be accepted as her guest without a stellar reputation, but you'll probably fight your way fight your way in somehow. I have a reputation. I have a fantastic reputation. Do you know, do you know how many bad guys I've killed? <laughs> it's easy. I see where you're going with this. It's this thing people call a joke, right? Oh, there it is. Right up to nearby, too. Alright. You don't even have a proper hospital in the town. How do we catch this detestable pest? Who could have thought I'd have to encounter such, such a nasty specimen of the diverse microbial world? People are counting on your educated intelligence, Oinen. Let's see if downstairs she's still like, Ah, oh, eek! Get out of my house! You're going to die soon. We sometimes... Nope. Just the visitor conversation. Leave. I need to talk to someone soon. So, n we, we lack headaches. This playthrough is not full of the headache excuse. Instead, I'm getting this... I think I know who the visitor is. Conversation over and over again, which is... Odd. But it is what it is. Here we are. Go on the back path because I'm like, maybe there'll be plants back here. There weren't. Well, once again, not the ones I want, anyway. There are dark rings under your eyes. We haven't met you yet, have we, as this character? Laura Ravel. Capella's take on her. She's the kindest person I know. Laura has taught me how to give pres presents, which is an intricate art in, of, in and of itself. The first thing she cares about is other people. The last is Laura Ravel herself. She lives for her friends. I also was fond of her father. The year before last, he volunteered as 4th Army Captain. Yes, I mean the 4th Army. Don't know what that means still, I don't think. That is Lav Rubin's take. After Captain Ravel was shot during the Battle of Karstov Fords, newly orphaned Lara turned her father her father's house into a shelter. The house has been built by Olgimsky in exchange for a favor. She is both sensitive and sensible. A rare combination in our neck of the woods. Yeah. An incredibly rare instance of what might be a good person in a game where almost nobody is. Who are you? Did the Harpist send you? What are those stains on your clothes? Where? Oh, right. Everywhere. That's blood. <laughs> a stranger brought me a peculiar vial today. Seriously, you should, you should have stains everywhere all the time. Can I help you? I'm looking for a stock, Reuben. Where can he be? It is your good luck that I know where he is. But what do you need him for? You want to take vengeance on him? What for? He threatened to punish you. He believes that it was you who killed Isidore. He's... He's wrong, though, isn't he? And what do you think? Oh, I don't know what to believe. Whatever the case, Reuben is a man that can stand up for himself, so where is he? So why do you need him? I'm making a panacea, and so does he. So is he? Yeah, typo. I want to know if he's had any luck. Can you promise me that you'll never reveal his hideout to anyone? Can you swear on your father's memory? I can. There was a fight at the abandoned warehouses by the works. The townsfolk discovered Barley's lair. Barley is the bandit whose men were first to go out, go about cutting. God have mercy. Cutting people. Reuben has secretly infiltrated the area. He was called up to help the wounded. Look for him there. 
Thank you, Lara. There. But I was imprisoned there in the Bachelor campaign. Oh, that's the that's the building where the yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the building where when I was playing as the bachelor, I had to fight like a hundred dudes. Shit, that's gonna happen today. What? She's very terse. Goodbye. Well, time to get cut up a lot, but only until only after I turn in my quest. Is that food place back there? No, it's a it's a medicine place. Not really a priority for me. I make my own. And also, I just have a lot. My god. <laughs> it's a real busy screen down there. Uh, Artemis does not spend a lot of time wanting for things. I, I'm, I'm doing pretty well on that front. It looks like you can pick that up so bad. Why'd they do that? So, oops. Ooh, there's my chance. Oh, you t oh I'm torn between the two. Oh, but there's this this one might have the... I should go here, because this one might have a... Uh, b b b schmouter You don't have shit? Thanks for that. Uh, I should have gone to the kid, huh? He was probably gonna have way more stuff that I want. You're not gonna have a schmouter. You never have a schmouter. And I'm not gonna trade my nuts for anything besides schmouter, because I'm specifically... That's my rule. It's hard to distinguish between all the different trading items and what to hold on to and so on and so forth, so I'm specifically... Holding on to all of my nuts to trade for schmouters. Because they're not that hard to get. They kind of trickle into the inventory. It's not easy to get enough. I think a schmouter, you, you cost like 10 or 15 or something. Uh, but before, eventually you do have enough nuts that you could trade for that kind of thing. And so that's my strategy at the moment. Is just keep buying nuts from everyone who sells them. Because they're like 15 each, basically. Of, no, of normal money, which is cheap. And then, you know, you pick them up at random when you're walking around, you get them out of loot boxes, and then you're just set. I mean, I guess if I have to do a big fight, I'm kind of prepared. I have a way better gun than The Bachelor ever did. Hey! Ooh. It's the exact NPCs I want to see around Notkin's neighborhood. Hello. How do you do? Please have a bandage for me, thank you. Very helpful. And you, please have cool stuff. Sure. And razors. And take out what I can. There were two. There we go. Zero that shit back out. Got more stuff. Still got six more watches. Might not be the best to trade for yellow medicine. I should probably be a little more discerning and not trade for the lowest quality one. But I kind of just stack up. Because I am just so aware of the fact that these kids are going to be- and the drunks and so many of these people I can trade with just start disappearing. So I'm just trying to get all the trading I can do now. Because if I stockpile the resources that I trade with them, and then they all disappear or become super rare and I can't offload my wares, then it doesn't really matter what I traded for then. I smell smoke. Are they burning trash again? Arming up as well, aren't you? Here you are. You meant these crowbars, right? Yep, just the stuff. I'll keep my word. Here you are, our potluck, as they say. Thank you. Hang them up on the wall. Whoa, two pistol, five shotgun, ten rifle. That's a lot of ammo. Have you heard? The bandits are cutting people. They went batshit. Everything I need is on me. They went batshit. It's too bad you can't trade with the people around here. I have 18 shotgun shells, 17 rifle rounds, and 12 rounds for my revolver that I don't have yet. <laughs> Hooray. Man, this isn't... Uh. Yeah, we can't we can't trade with you guys. That'd be too convenient. Get a very convenient... So that's the two quests I know about. Uh... I think I'm on to you, game. I think I know what's gonna happen. I think I'm totally on the right page here about what's going to happen. 
like around this time, I think I was able to successfully math it out, basically. I'm like, okay, the Inquisitor arrived on that day. That meant that Lara Ravel was dying on this day, which meant that the day with the saving the... Where, the day where I had to save the Haraspex was that day, which means Haraspex must be kidnapped on that day. Like, it's one step at a time. I was able to backstep it to being probably today being the day where I'd be kidnapped so that I could be rescued by the Bachelor tomorrow. And then Lara Vell dies the next day, and then the Inquisitor arrives the next day. So... The suspicious warehouse right there they want me to go into, where that's where I get back, uh, held captive. Uh, <laughs> I think we're there, basically. And I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm on the wrong track there. So... I'm gonna make a- I'll make a hard save in case I fuck the whole day up. But, uh, just in case, I'm gonna take a nap. We're just gonna sleep for a bit. It's 5 p.m. Uh, the day won't be over for a while, and if it's anything like the time I got knocked out as a bachelor, we'll wake up tomorrow. Uh, which is the day that the bachelor frees me. So I'm gonna lose the rest of today when I do this. But I can't wait much longer because, uh, the part where all the looters are available is the part of the day where, uh, the day is about to end. And I don't- I don't really want to, like, get on the edge like that and risk it too much. I'll set that stuff up there. I might have to kill guys on the way out, though. I don't know. If I get free, I'm like next door to my hideout, so it doesn't really matter what is in my inventory right now. As far as the collectible stuff goes, I can always come back here pretty easily. Alright, step one. Let's see, so let's do a save. Step one is hunger. I'm gonna die in the middle of the, my... the middle of the sleep if I... I mean, the middle of the night if I don't deal with that problem. Man, bread is the best option in the game, isn't it? Alright. Now I need to deal with my exhaustion, which is brutal right now. Thankfully, I've got my drugs. Uh, sleeping for four hours. We'll make it 2140. That'll still give me plenty of time. That's still like... Th two and a half hours before midnight or something? I got a letter. Of the bound fallen ill. The following sanitary precautions are hereby announced. There are citizens, so-called bound, who seem to be extraordinarily involved in town happenings. They are regularly contacted by people of different lines of occupation and social standing, including your two colleagues. They also try to compensate what they believe to be your inaction with their own efforts. In consideration of that, the executive uh, executive committee has decided- so that's them exp Yeah. They try to compensate what they believe to be your inaction with their own efforts. That pretty, that pretty explicitly explains the idea I was talking about, where if you don't do the main quest that day, one of your bound gets sick. If a bound person falls ill, the door to their home should be guarded by an executor. When the when the bound person remains conscious, the executor will collect mail deliveries for, uh, from them and pass over to them the provisions and, mer and medicaments delivered to, by the couriers. In exceptional cases, it is allowed it is allowed to visit the patient. To enable communication with uh, with the bound person, the executor should resort to higher efficiency antibiotic medicine. Ferromycinium. Four. Vaccines, serums, and other solutions should be administered if available in the same manner as all of the above. Executor community. I didn't fail yet. No. Alright. I mean, I'm like, yeah. Exhaustion's down, infection's up. It's, it's climbing. Hunger, hunger and immunity are okay. Alright, let's get prepped to fuck some dude up. Or whatever happens when I go here. Boink. Oh man, can you go away, Blur? There we go. <laughs> yep, the house on the end. This one on the end. Have I cracked the code? And quick save. Um. Ruben? Is there more of them in here, you creepy-ass motherfucker? 
What? <laughs> you're just standing over writhing, bleeding people. <laughs> Jesus, why? You're so tall. It's absurd. Oh, hi. A body. Which body? Is... Is that Georgie Kane? Is that him? Man, he has a- he has such a stern face, it shows up through face tarps. Is that Mr. Kane right there? Is this where you've been keeping him? Master would have approved of my actions. My first encounter was Stanislav Rubin. Sabrov's take. A strong person in every sense of the word. He can break your neck, or set your dislocated joints equally easily. A, a very gifted autodidact. His main concern is the others. Never the man himself. A selfless man. A man of principle. People can always rely on. Vlad Ogimsky's take. He was old Burak's best student. Willful, headstrong, sturdy. He will always do what he believes to be the right thing, and be stubborn as a mule about it. It's almost impossible to find a common tongue with him. He doesn't respect any authority except for that of his precious master. I owe, an, I owe you an apology, Artemy. I will accept it if you tell me the truth. There was no doubt in my mind that it was you who had killed my master. Until recently. He was obviously killed for the inheritance. It was connected to the kin, admitting the spiritual leadership rights of the Burks for the second time. And there's other evidence that fits together to support the assumption. What evidence? Firstly, the wound. The thing they're calling a Shabnak's claw has inflicted too precise a wound. A wound following every rule of the secret line, as though the criminal had an intimate knowledge of the inner ways. No butcher can make a blow like that. Secondly, the news of your arrival. Who told you I was to come shortly? Katerina Sabrova. Alexander is the governor now. Beware of him. Am I being hunted on this on his order? No. The order of Georgi Keynes. And he is even more dangerous than Alexander. What have I done to upset him? It's all gotten so confusing. I've been told a strange story not so long ago. I think you are being hunted for something that I had done. For Simon Cain. I don't understand. You've been attacked, remember? At the station. They were there on their own accord, I've learned. T uh, tried to ambush Simon's murderer. Thought he would try to escape by hiding in a carriage when a scheduled train arrives. What does that have to do with us? I thought Oyn and Dunkovsky had established the truth. Simon's killer is still among us and we can't punish them yet. And so we are hunted by fanatics for desecrating Simon's remains. Well, unlike you, I deserve it. When I realized the nature of his superhuman blood, I had a desperate decision to make. And I've decided to make sand plague medicine from Simon's remains. Why didn't you explain yourself? Your choice would have been accepted. Like hell it would. Explaining myself to the Canes is pointless. They've fetishized Simon. Right, Simon, not Georgi. Georgi's the guy who's alive. Simon's the name of the one that I, the character I've never met. Whoops, that was a mistake. They fetishized Simon. They'd rather place their bets on his sacred power, or the power of his name, or hell knows what else. They are a family of high-handed esoterics who only believe in dark arts. Fetishize, what does that mean? Where have you been all these years? I thought you were studying. Yeah, I wasn't... here. I'm kidding. I just didn't expect a word like that to escape your lips. Go- oh, we, we're talking about the word- the definition of the word fetish and not what he means about them? Okay, go on. Can I count on you? It depends on what you're planning to do. I'm not planning. The deed's already been done. The sacrilege is complete. I've cut his body open by every line and squeezed Everything I could pull from it. I pulled the bacteria from it, and I've made a few protective vaccine samples already. Old Simon has fed mankind with himself once again. 
Have you looked for antibodies in his blood? That was the first thing I did. There was nothing of the sort. I am a skeptic, you know. Yet, each time I come across the cane's mysticism, I am filled with fear. It's like the disease began to wither away from within him. All on its own. But it didn't die. All on its own? What do you mean? His blood is of a completely different nature to anything I've seen before. It isn't quite human. More than human, I'd say. In any case, the blood is gone. I used every drop to make the vaccines. I don't regret it, though. I w it wouldn't have helped you anyway, I think. Okay. Thank you for the news. I'm sorry I can't be more of more use. And don't, ar don't harbor ill feelings against me, please. I wish you luck. What? Be careful. Be careful. What did Kat what did Katarina Sabrova say about me? She said you were coming. Said you would spend your first days here in secrecy. That you are able to that you are to make a bloody sacrifice. Not much then. Do you believe her? Of course I did. How could I not? She even said that you will drown the town in blood, quench the, the earth's thirst for blood, or start a bloodshed. That is literally what she said. That could have been said as a metaphor, you know, for not what I did, which is spread blood all over town and sacrifice blood to the earth through the gatherers and uh, cause lots of bloodshed. Oh, yeah, it was a metaphor. Yes. Those guys that I've been work that have been working around this place have shed more blood in one day than one could imagine. Well, I'll speak to her. Where does this clear? Into that. Be careful and don't worry. So we're not even gonna like ask a question about this. Like, what the fuck is going on there? What? Okay. Okay, nope, that's impossible. Well, you don't gotta cry about it. The day <laughs> is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. The morning of the fifth day has come. Oh, it's after seven o'clock. Evidently. Is that gonna come in? Wait, is that coming in here? Dude, fuck off. What? Day five in the Witch Harris books gives a chance to grab her hind highness and the elusive sand plague as well. F Dude, what the fuck? There's just plague. Okay. Uh, it's. Oh Jesus! It's two p.m. of day five. Wow. Wow. It's like very late in day. F so we just skipped like almost. Huh. Considering how short that quest was, you just talk to the bachelor, then Lara, then go to the warehouse. That was the entire daily quest, was three conversations. Uh, you could have the day done in like a half an hour of in-game time. Uh, and if you do it early enough in the day, you might skip... I thought I was gonna say 24 hours. You could, you could skip more than 24 hours. You get the letter from the bachelor at like 7 a.m. You could get kidnapped at 8 a.m. <laughs> And then skip to 2 p.m. the next day, which would be, uh, 30 hours of skipped, uh, sk th that, would, that would skip 30 hours of the week, of the week. That's more than one entire day of the 12-day 12 12 day campaign. That would be one explanation for the, for Artemis' campaign being shorter, I guess. Huh. Not entirely sure what to make of that, but also, glad I could pause, because I have shit to parse about what's happening right now. All right, great. So my reputation's down to zero again. Somehow? What did I even do to justify that? Because that's frustrating. Uh, hunger and exhaustion are fine, as I kind of thought they might be from me preemptively dealing with that situation. Seems like the time skip did not actually calculate time passing on my character, so all my meters are where they were before. I'm being showered in infection right now, though, so I need to find a way out of here immediately, apparently. Okay. Let's take one of my things that heals me up. Okay. That guy? Ooh, he's got a he's got a 
Okay. He has a weapon. Which is good because I don't have my weapons. Where's my weapons? Alright. Shot one guard. Yeah, I can't avoid those. Oh, they have all this stuff on them, though. A another one? Jesus. Uh, there must be, like, a place where all my stuff is, right? Alright, got my first revolver. That's exciting. Ooh. Oh, that's for killing them, right? Yeah. My infection's getting really high. It's fine. I'll take one of the ones that destroys most of it. Is there more bad guys around here? Nope. I'm gonna take this one to the face. Yep. Wow. That's a shockingly high infection. My immunity did not last. 